Um, for everything that's happening at ATP and for this Giving Tuesday. ATP is such a wonderful company. I know for me personally, ATP gave me my first job in America nine years ago and have continued to support me in my journey throughout. I get to be all of the things that I can be as a performer in Whitefish and I, I love that very much and I always feel like I'm coming home whenever I'm in Whitefish. So Ooh. ATP and Luke and Betsy and those kids Kids are some of the fiercest, <laughs> talent, most talented and passionate people I know. And that's what ATP means to me. I love working with the kids. I love a ATP. It actually feels like home to me too. Yeah. Um, and I started in, I started working there in 2013 and I've done so many concerts there and I've had such a, a blast working there. I love the people. Of course, we love Luke and Betsy. Um, I love working with the kids there. Uh, and just listen, we just want you to donate. We want you to donate to this fantastic uh, performing arts program. Um, so please give all the money you can. Yep. Um, and uh, we hope to see you real soon when we're not on the Broadway. <laughs> Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Bye. ATP is my stability and safety and fun. And it has been for about four years. So. That's why it's important to me, and that's what ATP means to me. Hey, everybody, it's DeWitt here, your friendly tap dancer. Uh, just coming to say, uh, please, please, please open your hearts and your wallets for ATP for this uh, Giving Tuesday. Um, they've done so much for the community, for artists like myself, um, and, you know, just giving people a space to be free to express themselves and to be heard. Oh, I, I didn't even mean to do that, but there you go. Uh, especially with our young folk. I mean, it's so important that their voices be heard and, and that they're able to express themselves in a safe environment. And ATP always provides that. And that's why I keep coming back. I love it. I love the community and uh, a space for adults too. So please support them and please do what you can to keep their programs going and keep our community strong, rich, and uh, keep us talking and uh, being open with each other. So support at ATP. I'll see y'all soon. Oh, and no, I have not been kidnapped. Sorry, it looks like I'm on the side of the road because I am. I'm in the middle of touring right now and uh, I just had to send this video. It's important. I'll see y'all soon. Hi, my name is Labanda James and I've been a part of ATP Kids since I was nine. I have learned so much from ATP and I have loved every experience I've had with them. Honestly, ATP has truly impacted me in so many different ways. I've learned acting and dancing and singing and I get to do a musical every single year, which I know a lot of kids don't have that opportunity. And I'm so thankful for that. Honestly, ATP is the reason why I want to pursue acting in the first place and without them, I don't know what I would do. Hello everyone, my name is Latrisa Harper and um, I have been working with ATP for years now and doing theater and coming out to teach ATP kids and I have to say I enjoy teaching ATP kids and these kids are super talented and they come to ATP and they study singing and dancing and acting and um, the group of artists that come just to give to them, we're not only giving to them and teaching them all that we know and all the skill set that we know, but we're also actually receiving from them because they're very special young people and they give to us, we give to them. We get to take back to our art what they give to us, which is very, very valuable. And then we give to them all that we know um, because we love it and because we know these kids are super talented and very special. And ATP is a very special place. It's the heart of something amazing. Um, that's about to happen in the arts and that's happening in the arts and with local art tied into Broadway it's powerful it's amazing and I love it it is my favorite thing it's my favorite thing to travel to Montana to do is to be a part of ATP kids and um, 
Giving Tuesday is the perfect, perfect time for you to help out with ATP because it not only gives, you receive and you sit down in the audience and you witness these kids basically pouring their hearts out and being vulnerable is the most amazing thing ever. So you get Broadway right there in Montana. So Giving Tuesday, thank you. My favorite thing about HEP is that it's really inclusive and accepts everyone and includes everyone and everything. And we get to work with Broadway professionals in almost all of our shows and work with them on our vocals and acting. And it's just um, an amazing experience. To me, ATP is many things. It's one of the most inspiring and goal-oriented communities I've ever been a part of. And I'm very, very lucky to be a part of a group like that. I'm super thankful for ATP. I've met so many awesome people and I've learned so much about self-expression and confidence. Hello, Alpine Theatre Project family. For Giving Tuesday, I've been asked to talk about how ATP impacted my life, and I would be remiss not to mention that I wouldn't be where I am right now without Alpine Theatre Project. They've given me the ability to interact with many members of the performing arts industry where I work full-time now, including talking to directors, uh, producers, artists, audience, technical staff, and I think most importantly how Alpine Theater Project has impacted my life is by bringing back the love of theater and performing arts to me. Seeing a production go from a blank stage like this one to performances is a joy that I wish everybody got to experience. And so to Betsy and Luke and Rachel, thank you very much. I love you guys and I hope to see you guys again. Bye. Hi, my name is Catherine. I worked with ATP for about nine years, starting from when I was in fourth grade. And I would do their kids shows, I did the high school shows, I did the summer camps, the classes, you know, I was really involved in everything. And ATP has had a huge impact on my life. Now I'm here in South Carolina getting my BFA in musical theater. So it definitely had an impact on me and really helped me find what I'm passionate about. Not only that, but it teaches you lessons about how to work together and how to take criticisms and how to create something from the ground up. So ATP has had a huge, huge impact on my life and I am so thankful for the amazing programs they have available in Whitefish. And I would not be going to school for musical theater if I didn't do ATP growing up. I was so lucky to have so many theater experiences through elementary school, middle school, high school, and a large part of that was Alpine Theater Project. Um, I did a lot of shows, I did summer camps, I found amazing dance teachers and voice teachers and people who helped me pursue my dream and apply for colleges and now I'm here and I'm living my dream performing in college. Um, I'm also teaching in my field and teaching musical theater to kids which is what I want to do. I want to be a professional performer and have my own theater company like Alpine Theater Project someday to work with kids because it is just such a delight. I want to pass on what they gave to me. Um, and so I would not be here living my dream if it wasn't for Alpine Theater Project. So thank you so much, Luke and Betsy. Thank you to all the Broadway stars you've brought in that helped taught me as well. And thank you to all the donors. Um, I'm living my dream and it's all thanks to you. Thank you. ATP, what? How do you not love ATP? I mean, I started out so many moons ago. Little Shop of Horrors, Little Shop. And ever since I came to ATP doing Little Shop of Horrors, they could not get rid of me. So with that said, I have done many a Yuletide concert um, from pre-Jazara, my daughter, to bringing her on stage with me uh, during the summer concerts. It's just been amazing. I've been so grateful for Alpine Theater Project, their love, their support, their creativity um, for us adults and the children. And it really is a special, special place that's nestled in Whitefish, Montana. So Montana is very, very lucky to have ATP. Hi, Grace and Rebby. We just wanted to give a shout out to ATP and tell you all why they're so special to us. Why are they special to you, Rem? Being the SpongeBob play and um, 
we started a year ago um for the singing lessons yeah did they make you feel like family so cool i think one of the coolest things is i like helping out and they involve the whole family and friends but also i'm comfortable enough to leave her there and um how much they they promote just working as a team and accepting each other remy what was your favorite part about the spongebob musical what were some things you loved did you just like being there all the time with your friends and the coaches well my favorite part was probably just learning learning and you said you were learning to read music with tracy and a little bit of piano even but basically the coolest part is just being so involved and I know that really promotes growth and supporting each other and we just love you guys so much thank you for everything and we can't wait to spend every year growing and creating and doing awesome things we love you guys so much thank you for everything you do anything else you want to say thank you oh. hi i'm tess flukies and i'm nicholas brester both of our theater journeys start at alpine kids theater project yeah and atp provided us just the theater experience of a life and it gave us a creative family that extends just like all across the country the preparation and connections they provided us with have allowed us to create a home in New York City where I'm working full-time as a off-Broadway technical director and props artisan. Mm -hmm. And I'm working full-time as a film and theater actress who's currently studying at one of New York's most renowned acting conservatories. ATP isn't just our family. It's our home. My name is Ryan Williams. I'm here in New York City definitely wishing I was there in Whitefish working at my favorite regional theater, the Alpine Theater Project auditioned for Betsy and was brought to Montana thinking I was just going to be doing a uh, regular production of Rock of Ages um, and what I found was a theatrical home and a community of artists that became my family. Um, I've done several productions there. Some of my favorite roles that I've ever played in my career were done on that stage at ATP and I am so thankful for that community of artists. Thankful for Betsy and Luke, uh, Rachel, everyone there that has trusted me to bring my work to the stage and allowed me to create in such a beautiful environment with such professional actors, scenic designers, directors, musicians, um, the best in the business. And what they, put on that stage is truly remarkable. And I can't wait to return. Uh, every year I think, oh boy, how are they gonna bring me back? <laughs> and I look forward to seeing you in beautiful Whitefish. This is how